welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Hot Darkness, the Indian Let's Play. So everyone, we're back here in this Let's Play of Awesomeness, where, as you know, last episode, we took the rest of Khalid. Maybe it was two episodes ago. Mm, I don't know. I'll, just, I'll see in the video rendering how I split up the episodes. But one or two episodes ago, we took Khalid, and it was a pretty exciting moment because that means we are... Where is it? Oh yeah, policies. We are extremely, extremely close to industrializing. In fact, we only need one more land reform. Just one more, guys. Not two, not three, not 75, one. So, what I'm gonna do, guys, is basically just skip through all the boring parts of you guys waiting here and watching, doing, and watching me doing nothing. And I'll get back to you when we actually have something happen, which is industrialization. Okay? So, guys, I will see you in a second. Oop! I forgot. Oop! I forgot to mention, guys. Uh, now that we have railroads, <laughs> oh, I'm going to use basically what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, shoot! Wrong thing. Yeah, this is why you could beat me in a Victoria 2 match because I forget how to use hotkeys, which is a really bad habit. But I'm not a big, gigantic fan of hotkeys. I mean, hotkeys do speed you up, but it's not exactly my forte. It's just, I just love playing the game and just using old inefficient clicking and stuff. But that's me, right? And there we go! So everyone, oh wait, one little region. And there we go, there we go. So anyways guys, um, now that we have that, I'm going to start. Also, I'm going to try to keep at least 300k in the bank if I can. I'm going to start increasing my land borders so I have a good outside defense of just stuff. And I would normally skip through this, but you know what, this is a good time to just kind of relax and do stuff because uh, I've been having a pretty stressful week this week with like dealing with my studies down at my campus. So you know, it's going to be really good once I like finish all this up, you know. Just kind of lazily la relaxing and and expanding factories, which should bring my economic boost to a big, big, gigantic um, series. Because once you have once you have all these factories built, oh my goodness, we're gonna have so much. We're gonna have so much. Okay, there we go. All right, now that we oh wait, one more region. Okay, now that we have finished the factory build, I will cut this episode, and so I'll see you guys in a little bit again. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what I did. <laughs> like, legitly, I don't know what I did this time. This was like, uh, this is not on me, so, let's see, what are they fighting for? Really? You guys want this really bad region? Like, seriously, you guys are fighting for Madras. This has really no resources that are really that much of value. I mean, that's not even the main producer of dye in my country. Though, then again, they can't actually get the main producer of dye, but still, that's kind of like... That's kind of like stupid, in Ah, <sighs> alright. Please do not invite all your little states into the war. Please... Okay, they didn't. Okay, then we can definitely win this. And I wasn't expecting to go to war with... With the Brit- with the British? So soon- What? I'm at war with- Why is he blockading me? Oh, it's the British. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, why are they blockading me? I, I thought I was at war with them. Okay, so guys, I guess basically it's time for us to defend against the British Empire. Wow, I-, I, I like, legitly, this is without a doubt one of those things that you're always gonna remember in this campaign is that for some reason, I try to be peaceful. I actually try to leave Gandhi's rule of peacefulness, and somehow I just get nailed up and beat up by almost every nation I see. Um, I'm not gonna get any. I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna get alliance with Siam. They betrayed me twice, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna turn down the music just slightly. So once I actually think the music is a little bit too loud. There we go. There we go. Okay, so right now we have to really be mindful of what the British are gonna do. But as long as we just conquer a couple regions and just start winning because of conquest, I think, in the long run, guys, this is in the long run, 
we'll be able to beat the British because I'm pretty sure we can beat almost any fleet or army that they're gonna bring over I'm pretty sure that's it's, it's a little bit of a debate in my mind but we could probably if this war goes correctly we could probably beat everything we need to okay you go right there and you guys go right there okay and we're conquering that over there okay yeah we should be fine I mean a National Guard version 2 has the best has the best men entailed, so if things really go bad, I'll send them in, and we'll go conquer everything. Seems like the British are moving their fleets around, which is a good sign that they're not really interested in engaging me just yet. Um, right, let's see, do I have enough war score now? Defenders up. Oh, dang it. They conquered something, didn't they? They conquered. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, if I was on this side, then it'd be a bad thing, but this is actually Defender's Occupation is actually a good thing on my side. Okay, because that means I almost have what I need. Okay, I'm going to keep some men over here, a little bit more than usual men. Once I conquer this region over here, I'm going to keep an unusually big amount of men over here next to British India. That way, if things do go bad, you know, I'm ready for it. I'm also going to wait for when I can actually add a Casas Belli for myself, because if we can add our own Casas Belli, we're going to be swimming in the moolah. Like, seriously, I mean, once we own our own Casas Belli against the British, we're going to be like, we don't need him anymore. And then just, like, kick him, a, kick him to the curb and, like, do an epic, like, pff, I don't know, Kamehameha? <laughs> what? That, that actually would be pretty awesome. Just, like, option, decisions, like, in the decisions menu. Policies. We go to the policies, everyone. And in the decisions menu, there is Operation Super Saiyan Kamehameha. Click. Ah, boom! And we just blow up the British Isles. Yeah. That would be... You know what? That'd be awesome. Or that'd be epic. Whichever one you want to use. Any synonym of that would work. And let's see. Dang. I still have a lot of war score for all that. Places I occupy. Hmm. Hey, we have been friends, Burma. You want to give me military access? Military access. Thank you. It'd be very appreciative to my cause of destroying the British. If you guys give me military access, thank you. Let's go destroy the British more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to make sure, though, that when they land their first army, I'm going to have to send all my armies to go attack them to make sure that we can overpower them. Because at this point... We're no longer equals. I mean, as much as I like to think about it, the British have much, much bigger and more powerful army than I do. Now, the problem is, is that they're too cocky to actually use the entire thing. So if I just smartly just start invading lots of little tiny places, I should be alright. I should be alright. And when the moment presents itself, I'm going to try to take this region right here. Mainly because I want to keep weakening the British control over the dye industry because we want to make sure that there, we have no competition. And right now, while France and them are all much competition, I still consider the British our biggest contenders. So we're going to have to really work on that. Over here, okay, we just... It's like I have to manage both empires, my little empire and my big empire, just to make sure there's nothing happening. I also have to make sure that these guys don't get attacked randomly, just randomly get attacked by the British would really stink but if my ju if my judgments are true I don't think the British actively protect their colonies so a war with them is actually pretty smart defenders are like attackers blockade okay so they're obviously blockading me somewhere I don't know where though a oh, Russia better not join it oh, okay okay let's see uh, we have how many troops moving to the islands well, I could lose the outside islands. Those are not... Those aren't actually that important. Oh, okay. I don't actually know how many men there are in that troops, but they look kind of scary. Okay, if they were head, if they were going to head to the main island, I think I'll be able to fight them. Now, let me guess, I gain now extra minus war score? Yes! So correct. But the problem is, is that the Khaz is soon going to run out because I'm fighting them on the unequal terms. And apparently the, the British are at war with the Portuguese? When did this happen? Huh. You know what? Good job for you. Good job for you. Okay, okay. So he's going to be moving his soldiers this way. Um, I have two different brigades. Not very good commanders. Let's see if I can get better commanders. Um, this guy would be better. Seriously, why do we have so... 
this guy tail before I'm going to do. Get this guy in charge, seriously. Why are we having all these bad commanders in charge, seriously? Alright, so. Alright, we're gonna have to quickly go attack him. Before. Off! That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant, and I just lost an army. Okay, well, I'm gonna move. I'm just gonna move all my soldiers and the National Guard. The National Guard, I'm calling in the National Guard. We're gonna call them in. And what else I'm going to do is I'm also going to build up another army. Four, five, five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Because, I mean, I've never really, like, fully industrialized. I mean, a lot of people will think I did. But I'm going to slow down speed now, now that we're a little bit hesitant of what's going to happen. All right. So I am. I need you to give me military access. Thank you. This army is just going on a complete another conquest spree to the actual Siamese land, but right now we're going to start losing this very, very soon. All because I lost that one battle. Oh, poor general. Alright. But we're going to have to see where they go next. Um, I'm, I'm, if I can, people, if I can, I'm not going to give the British anything. They're going to have to fight me tooth and nail. This guy, uh, he's going after these guys. We're gonna need our best defender. Who is our best defender? This guy's terrible. That guy's terrible. That guy's terrible. That guy's terrible. This guy's terrible. This guy's okay. He's slightly better. Okay, so if things came to worse, I really gotta put this guy in. Okay, it says his background is incompetent, but he's actually better than most of these guys. How's that work? Okay. Um, I'm gonna have these guys start to go over here and... Man, I didn't even build my railroads yet. Haven't even gotten to that part. Okay, all you guys circle up around here. Yeah, what I should probably just do is just probably group all my armies into a big gigantic cluster. So that when, if they do get attacked like this, they don't get like instantly swarmed. This is actually a very bad idea. Um, right now do we have a good mod of policing? We have some terrain bonus. Yes, hills. Right, that means we get 1% terrain defense. Which, while the Portuguese are protecting us right now. Um, Alright, the British are going to have some negative modifiers. Um, these guys, how is their attack? Okay, this guy is a super duper awesome commander. When he comes in, he should be able to break the British. I, I fully believe that the British will break when this happens. Unless they have more men coming. Hopefully not, though. <laughs> if they have more men coming, we're, they, we're basically doomed. I mean, I mean, at that point, we basically have nothing to, like, live for because we have no men. So let's see. How are we doing? He's still not hitting as much as we would hope. But we're hitting enough just to keep them off balance. Now we're starting to lose. Okay, one more big gigantic army. Okay, you guys go right there. Uh, I don't think that army is going to be able to make it in time. As much as I believe in my soldiers, I don't think they're going to be able to make it in time. By the way, these guys are conquering all these little colonies, which is going to be great. Uh, really? You guys haven't even conquered actual any of the actual provinces. How am I going to give it to you guys when you don't actually own anything? Because I'm not one of those stupid, uncivilized nations when they realize, Oh yeah, we have a couple losses, uh, we're gonna give up now. Okay, I'm just gonna have to fast forward it. Okay, yep, that's gonna, we're gonna win that battle. There is no way they can beat us in that battle. Yep, yep, we won. We won, guys! Alright, so the British are retreating. Quickly go right there. Send more men to go down and go help us out. Once I get more men down here too, that would also help us keep... Okay, let me see. Do it. Is this? Oh, it's a national guard. Okay, guys, we're calling in the national guard to come help us clean up the British mess. All right, and boom. And are they dead? Yes. Okay, now let's quickly siege down this. I'm gonna take some nutrition. I know, but let's quickly siege down this. That way, we have utmost. Okay, let's do this. Let's start spreading our soldiers. Alright, they're gonna be right next to each other, like legitly right next to each other. That way, that way if some problem does arise, which I should have realized this earlier, if some problem does arise, 
will have instant access to fix it. Like, our troops will not be this spread out again. We'll be able to keep a good tab on almost everyone. We're starting to make soldiers, which is good. It's a good sign. Our economy is healthy. Oh, now it's starting to die. Oh, and shoot, I'm not even fully supporting my army myself. <laughs> wait a minute, how am I still... Wait, 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 I'm winning against the British. I'm not even supporting my army fully. You know, that's just... There is something about the Indian nation that just gives us an extra affinity to fighting the British and almost any European powers, alright? So I'm pretty sure this is all going to be a group, so I'm going to combine them right over here. Alright, we should... We should not be getting any, like, bad... Bad economics, and actually... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. It's another steamer ship, so that means most likely there's another... Big, gigantic... Army coming our way. I'm waiting for them to deploy. Nope, it's not there. Okay, it's right over there. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is send all three of my armies, National Guard included, to all go over there. I'm gonna have these guys be the ones to actually engage them right here. I'm gonna see what happens from there. See, this army already has enough. Does already have enough um, actual troops? So we're gonna send in those guys. Ouch! That's a big army. Okay, you know what? Maybe it might be better defensively to just let them engage us. Over here, we're gonna finish off some of the more of the Siamese. Right now they're starting to get a really bad modifier because I'm starting to like really kick butt. <laughs> Flatly put, I'm starting to really kick butt now. Um, don't attack them directly. That would actually be pretty detrimental to our cause. Okay, you guys, four. You guys go right there, four, five, six. Okay, that should be enough right there. You guys combine right there. Okay, yeah, I'm organizing my army so I make sure I do a good strategy because I want to make sure I kind of group them up right here. That way we have a good defense ready for when they attack. So obviously going to attack us at some point. I just don't know when. You guys stay right there. Do not move. Okay, we're going to see if they're going to engage my main army stupidly. Oh, I wonder if the British are really this cocky to see if they would actually engage us this, like, against this front. Which, in the past, it has been proven they are this cocky. I think, honestly, the nation's that great. Well, guess what? Okay, so now I lost visibility. I don't know which way they're going. They're going straight for the province I want them to go to. Okay, it's my great commander's in charge. Oh, man, you guys are going to get smoked. So, okay. Everyone, dogpile! So I should be able to come out in a couple days. Boom, boom, and... Okay, do not let them retreat. Do not let them retreat. Keep attacking. Keep the pressure onto them. Now that we have the advantage, keep the pressure on them. Are you guys almost done? Okay, you guys are almost done. I'll keep a good eye out on you for a second. And there we go. Go to the next province. Um, over here, we need you guys to group up and go right here. Go right there. All right. And then my other armies meeting meeting these guys over there. 68, 68 uncivilized troops should be able to beat these British dogs. Plus, they're also coming in with another force. This is a big army that they have to win. I'm losing lots of men. I already realized that. I know, guys. Don't You don't have to be telling me in the comments. I lost a lot of men during this battle. But that wasn't the point. We're chasing down the British so that they don't ever come back to us. Oh, no! I misjudged it. Okay, we're gonna... Anyways, we're gonna have to heal that army up. Uh, this army has to heal a little bit. That army has to heal just a little bit. We're gonna have to retreat. I, I, this is something I usually don't say. Actually, these guys can stay right here and just unseed that place. Over here, we have another army moving over there. Over here, how much is this army built up? Okay, we have six. Okay, we need one more horseman. So any horsemen? No. So that means we're just going to have to keep that army at a very imbalanced nature. Over here, we're going to have to fight the British again. Um, the British right now, and I'd like to point this out right now. I'm an uncivilized power, basically tying the British in terms of militaries. Actually, we're tied. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of funny. We're tied in terms of militaristics. Militaristics. And they're almost 
almost at the limit where they start actually taking it from me. Oh, shoot. Everyone engage him. Because, yeah, that's going to happen. Shoot. Alright, that was not a smart move. Apparently, I'm now going to, like, lose massive amounts of men. Yep. Okay, you know what? Retreat, retreat, retreat. Not a good idea. I don't know where they went, but we're going to have to heal up quick. Everyone spread out quick. Alright. Let's see. In our other army, this should finish out that army. It's a good thing, I ma it's a good thing I'm, make I'm making a constant stream of armies right now. Otherwise, we would be basically dead. Okay, so three, four, five, six, six, one, two. Okay, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Okay, that should be enough. And now we should probably start supporting our men to the full utmost. That way we don't start dying from nutrition. Over here, should we finish up with the siege? We go right here. Um, we just lost a major battle, so that's going to affect us majorly. But we still, they still haven't conquered many provinces of ours, so that's very good. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here because you know what? This is a good-sized episode, and it'd be very entertaining to watch it'd be very entertaining to watch next episode and plus i also love cliffhangers <laughs> i love cliffhangers i'm leaving you guys in a suspenseful moment because right now the war could go anyway and i'm actually kind of losing this war technically i'm losing this war but really i'm not because i don't count battles into this i only will lose if i really am overwhelmed which at this point i'm not overwhelmed i can still fight the british but anyways guys don't forget to, don't forget to tune in for the next episode don't forget to comment rate, and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time